Remember when they hated, didn't think we make it How they break their neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hit yourself, you can look at me, look at me good with y'all all right so what are we getting into today today we're about to be heading to hexa garage the ls tree tree 50 z because the new porsche gt3 style exhaust that i had made we're gonna be checking that thing out you guys see that i replaced the mufflers on there we're gonna be running some boiler type s's which are the same mufflers that are on my c6 and we're hoping we get this thing to sound kind of like the c6 that's the sound i'm going for something that still sounds real choppy at idle uh, doesn't have drone and then screams up top when you actually own it and a lot of y'all that follow me in the community center or keeps up on Instagram and stuff you guys seen that I actually have a little surprise for the 350z and I'm gonna be showing y'all that later I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all are gonna love the new addition that is going on the 350z it's basically gonna take the 350z from a like okay this thing's nice it's clean it looks you know it looks different to oh my fucking god this is an actual build build so yeah things are getting crazy with the 350 um you know and uh, oh yeah oh yeah man for everybody that's rocking with me bruh all of y'all from the dudes to the girls to the old people the freaking babies and kids that watch let me just say man thank y'all thank y'all thank y'all and i love y'all we finally hit 300k we finally broke that 300k milestone and i'm grateful for all y'all that are watching man that have been rocking with your boy and just stand in tune with everything and i tell y'all all the time and you know i want to say it one more time or however many times i'm gonna say it to y'all i love y'all man y'all y'all literally from viewing and commenting and just showing love man y'all have changed my life y'all have put me in a position to where you know i was able to change my my granny's life uh, you know, this is my house went from when we started these videos to me living at granny helping her to now You know, I'm in my own four walls my house and you know, my granny is living with me man And y'all made all that possible dude. So again, thank y'all for the 300k Thank y'all for showing love man, and I I, I said a lot, but y'all don't know man This shit means a lot to me as long as y'all are here supporting and showing love I promise y'all I'm gonna keep trying to raise that bar and just do didn't do uh, different things man and just staying true to to my roots and what i love and uh, again i appreciate y'all love y'all so see the doggies y'all see the doggies so hey chill out hey chill so this is something that i should have been posting on there i actually taught kimbo a new trick watch this watch this check it out hey kimbo sit kimbo watch this speak oh. See that? My boy learned how to learn how to talk. Watch. Kimbo, talk. <laughs> he, he, he talks so much now that now that I taught him talk, he just talks a lot. Kimbo. Talk. Come on. <laughs> good boy. It's a good boy. It's my fat boy. You wanna talk to him one more time? Hey, talk. <laughs> But I told y'all on the other channel that I would be doing, uh, I'd be going over more of the, you know, family stuff. I am going to show y'all kind of like some of my tips and tricks that I use to, to train, uh, train my pups. But anywho, we got, we got car stuff today. We'll get on that on the other channel. Remember always link down below. I haven't started posting on there, but I promise y'all I will be posting on there soon. More of the everyday, uh, me stuff, family stuff, granny stuff, me and Nita stuff, the pup stuff, all that. Anything that isn't car related will be going on that channel and separating, but. I definitely need to move some stuff around and get things a little bit more organized in here since the 350Z is coming back home. We got my boy White Aaron right here. We actually just went and picked up some stuff for his car. Y'all see that shortly too? Oh yeah. Making Finally. making it right well overdue. Well overdue. Just pulling up to White Aaron's and woo, we got a six speed LS3. I actually uh, picked this up. It's for one of my boys that y'all know, but I don't want to disclose any of his information because he might make this a secret build, but that motor and that trans is going into one of his cars. Uh, so yeah. And then we have over here, 
I don't even think I've shown y'all this or even mentioned anything about it on my on my channel, but this is my my backup LS3 right here. It also has a TR6060 trans too. I picked this one up after I had got, or before I got rid of the other one. I actually wanted this one for Nita's car. What I wanted to do was I wanted to see if I can use this trans on the Fox body when that trans breaks or something. So I have a spare LS3. That motor is supposedly going to Nita's car, uh, but it also could be a backup motor if my Fox body or my Turbo 5.0 decides to blow up. I strapped this one down. We're gonna be dropping this off at Hexa. All right, so we are rubbing right here. I need to get some helper springs on this thing, but uh, I'm gonna have my boy Nish roll it, but we got a far drive and I'm not trying to have this thing eat through my tires. So I'm gonna do a, a little hack right here and, and roll this thing real quick. You ready for this? I mean, I, I guess I don't have a choice. Oh. Dude, it's like really tight in there. It's the underbed. Nobody sees this. It's true. <laughs> it's oh working. Oh my god. It is working. I think that's all we need for clearance. Yeah, the Here, you see? I'm gonna bounce on it. No homo. Look under here, tell me if it touches. Nope. Right now, me and the old lady, me and my old lady, we're on our way to uh, Hexa right now. Uh, apparently, the exhaust isn't done. I was under the impression that we're supposed to be picking the car up today, but the fab dude ain't even there yet. So, yeah, uh, more than likely, the car probably ain't gonna be done until tomorrow. But I gotta go out there. I gotta drop this engine off anyway. I have an extra set of mufflers in uh, in the back. I have the the Type S mufflers at the shop right now. But in the back back here, I also have a set of uh, Borla tacks. So uh, since the exhaust isn't done, I'm gonna go over there and kind of see what the mapping is looking like and making sure we have room for everything uh, before everything gets finalized and welded up because uh, I'm, I'm hearing different things. And uh, at the end of the day, I want this exhaust exactly how I want it. So I'm gonna go over there again and make sure that it's getting done to you know the expectations on how I want it. Uh, just sucks because it's an hour drive every time I go over here and this is what it's like my third trip over there Today no over well, oh. since the first exhaust and we had to remember we had to leave and come back Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready to come out oh. Grab the ECU Put it on top of the motor that way AC don't get smashed all right so here's the old exhaust setup on the tree 50 Z and this is what the new setup is looking like it's so going around the tow hook like that and the other side's gonna come back through here again V-band and then loop around also. What'd you think? Looks, Looks good. Mm -hmm. So y'all can see the attacks have these these little tubes in there that are like perforated. And then you can see that lower the lower one right there, or those lower three are breaks basically straight. And then that top right corner one is like perforated holes. I guess that's where the little bit of sound deadening comes in. And then the rest of it seems like it's a straight through straight pipe down near for the attacks. Get out this way. Like that. And then he's gonna do the same thing over here and just come in. Got rid of the EGR crap over there? Yeah, it's all gone. But these are the pieces. Come put that together and then put together the, the last section. Let me throw this back in. Looks cool like this though. Yeah, it looks it's gonna look nice. You need about a shake right now. Uh, we'll see when Jake gets here if he can finish this, get this all all watered up. You can see everything's kind of just tacked together right now. So we'll see once Jake gets here. 
finish this up and then maybe we'll be back tonight to to swoop it and bring her home we still got a lot of stuff to do before the soul cow trip we show them should we show them now mm -hmm. what are we, we showing them <laughs> the new addition for the tree fitty to make this thing oh. nasty nasty oh, okay okay you want to go you want to go grab it where is it in the room on the dresser no <laughs> why <laughs> i'll be right back let me go grab this thing it is heavy why are you looking at me like that because you're crazy. Fighting me. <laughs> you was fighting me. You came down the hallway jabbing me. I did not. You did so? I did not. You did. You hit me first. No, I didn't. You <laughs> hit me first. That's why you're laughing, because you know you're lying. What in the liary is this? You're supposed to be a woman of God, and you sitting here lying right now talking about I hit you first. You did. I didn't. Coming through the hall, you told me to stay there. And then you came by hitting me. You see me carrying that big heavy thing? And, and, oh boy, you want to carry it? No, it ain't none of mine. All right, so the new addition to the family, Granny. What is this thing called? I don't know. What do you? What, I told you what it was. I don't know. We got a supercharger. Say that, Granny. Supercharger. 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 Say LSA supercharger. What? LSA. LSA supercharger. There you go. Say it fast. Hell no. <laughs> Come on, fast. Three times. Uh uh. Right, all right. We'll make you we'll make you a wager right now. Hold on. No. Hold on. Hundred bucks. If you can say LSA supercharger fast three times, I'll give you this hundred dollars. Nope. Um, it's right here. I'll even set it right there. Say it. I have problems with saying it one time. So say it. Come on. $100 right there, Granny. <laughs> no, no, it don't work that way. It don't. It definitely don't work that way. You better give me this ah. money. Yeah, ah, elderly abuse. Trying to take this money without the bet. <laughs> All right, so new addition to the family right here. We have a LSA supercharger. Well, this is the this is the ZR1 lid, so it is the best lid you can get for the LSA. You know what I'm saying, and it's not a stock LSA. It's actually a fully ported, a brand new Synergy LSA. You can see right here we got the Grip Tech 255 fully on here. It's going on a 350Z. The little the little blue one or purplish, whatever you can fit me, depending on how the sunlight hits it. But yeah, this is the uh, the new John for that. Like I said, this thing is brand spanking new. Everything's there. The lid currently is loose, so I could pull the lid off and show you guys that um, the blades and everything in here have been coated. Pull this back so y'all can see the the port working here. Check this thing out. Woo! Synergy C and C ported. Look at that. This thing looks beautiful in there. B E A beautiful fully ported blower. I'm currently waiting for my tuner Whipple to give me some inject injectors. Uh, we're gonna do the probably 1300s or 1200s, some along those lines. And yeah, this thing should it should make some good power. Um, I'm slowly transitioning the 350Z to being one of the powerhouses on the channel. I was gonna do a lot of a lot of changing and stuff to the C5, but. I feel with the LS3 being fully built in the 350Z, I feel like the 350Z is probably like damn near like the perfect candidate for being like the new powerhouse on the channel next to the SE. I think I'm gonna keep the, the C5 kind of around the 720 horsepower range that it's at. Then you feel me? Start spinning this thing, you get a little wine out of it. Look at that, look at that sucking that air in. Come here, come here girl. Come here, come here, come here. Look at this, look at this. This thing is sucking. What? Oh. Woo! That's horsepower right there. That's probably like a, a half a pound of boost. <laughs> but yeah, y'all can hear it. So, I mean, she should be a crybaby once it's, uh, once it's all in there. Uh, I can't wait. This is my very first root style supercharger that I've ever done. My main thing for, behind this was I had kind of made a deal with myself. I told myself that on the last dyno video, I said if the 350Z didn't break 500 horsepower, I would supercharge the 350Z. 
and we made 490 horsepower which ain't 500 so stay true to myself and it was i mean it was a good excuse to grab a blower for this thing something else that just arrived just now that i'm excited about is the compressor housing for the fox body finally got the t51r mod on here so the fox body should sound similar to my fd as far as uh, spool noises go and then we have the high flow cats right here for the 350z also these are just some hunter cell magna flows or 200 200 these are 200 cells and only reason i'm i'm doing this is just so i don't have to freaking smell this thing on my trip to socal like i'm not trying to smell exhaust fumes so uh, we'll throw these on now and then probably once we get ready to supercharge this thing these are going to be coming off because it's going to be on e85 anyway and we all know e85 tends to destroy cats and yeah these will have no use and e85 don't smell as bad as 91 pump so while we wait for the call from hexa uh, I'm gonna take this to my boy Lamar and I'm gonna get this thing powder coated that way It's ready to go on the Fox body tomorrow along with the rest of the Fox parts. So Gray and let's get that off of there There we go all nice and powder coated wrinkle black with a nice flaky finish